Thank you very much. Uh, it is really an honor to be here with uh, my dear friends and former colleagues of the European Parliament, uh, dear Belen President Mariam Rajavi, with uh, uh, Commissioner Gude Verheugen, one of the brightest persons that ever came through uh, our European institutions. And uh, allow me to say that most in particular to Colonel Wesley Martin and uh, uh, Louis Free, uh, which I did never uh, hear before and I never met before, um, and it was really um, a, a tremendous feeling to hear your words, because uh, you are absolutely right. You did refer, uh, uh, Mr. Free, you did refer to several of uh, uh, the, the blatant examples of uh, the Iranian uh, terrorist uh, machine uh, in operation. Uh, and uh, actually we could, uh, well, we could be the whole afternoon uh, giving more examples, but I would not uh, refrain to, from, uh, well, speaking about two that are perhaps one, some of the most obvious. Uh, the Superior Council for the Islamic Revolution uh, of Iraq uh, which is uh, uh, an, an organization, a sister organization from Hezbollah in Lebanon, and it's Badr Brigades. I mean, they made public their terrorist uh, threats and their uh, terrorist uh, uh, victories against United States forces. I mean, they are in press releases, uh, they are in international agencies in the end of the 80s. They were invited to take care of Iraq. I mean, uh, there is a, a book, an entire book, that describes the way that Mr. Chalabi, that was supposed to be so much a uh, friend of uh, the Western uh, world, he came into Iraq, escorted by dozens of revolutionary guards from Iran, who crossed the border from Iran. I mean, these were going to liberate Iraq? <laughs> this, is this was going to be a democracy. Co Colonel Wesley Martin, I, I really appreciate your words, because I was there in Ashraf. I could see, I was then and again, year after year, I was with the Iraqis all the time. And I could see how grateful they were, because they, have, they had water in the, in the villages in the nearby of Ashraf, because... Uh, the PMOI was giving them water. They had some hope for medical treatment, and some of them were, were coming to me, some of them that I, I met in a later stage, because they wanted the favors to get this medical uh, treatment in Ashraf, and, and the, 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 the PMOI was giving it. But not only the propaganda of the Iranian regime, but there, is, there are even departments in the United Nations, departments in the, on the human rights of the United Nations that reproduce the most uh, fabulous lies against the PMI. And I, I cannot read this without feeling disgusted. How is it possible? Madam Pillai, it is a shame. It is absolutely uh, Iranian propaganda from the start to the end. I mean, they, uh, this, this, this terrorist attack in Washington, it is so obviously a creation of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards in full command of, uh, of, uh, of, the, uh, of the leader, of the spiritual leader. It is uh, all the details, even uh, the, you know, the, the, the shabby way of that they, they did a lot of the things, is exactly the shabby way that, for instance, they dealt, they made the Nikonos massacre in Berlin, which, uh, which, with which they did the massacre in Buenos Aires in 93 and 94. It, I read attentively all the report of the Buenos Aires massacre in Spanish. It is, it is something I would advise everybody to, to read. And it is really, uh, in my opinion, it is perhaps the best wor work I've ever read on terrorism. And I read all the details there, and you can see uh, that uh, they were, uh, the Iranian revolutionary guards were very clumsy in the way that they, they, they acted and they led. Uh, it was very easy to understand that they did it and they organized it as it was now the case in Washington. But what does the appeasement press say? Oh no, it's impossible. It could not be the revolutionary guards. They are so professional. They would not be, uh, they would never be caught. Oh no, it's impossible. So this is always the same people that are there to hide the reality, 
to uh, to make us believe on what is not true. And I am so happy to see you here. I am, I, I you know, my heart got really warm when I knew that the director of the FBI in '97 refused to get into this rate. I mean, you deserve uh, all the applause from all of those who praise freedom and democracy because what you have done is uh, outstanding and I admire you without limits. I don't want to take more of your time. I would just like to tell you that uh, uh, we shall overcome.